Hey there, pilots, all right. Today we're in the barn house. Today we're gonna set up a Banana Hobbies two axis gyro. And I'm gonna show you how I set up um, the Banana Hobby two axis gyro. And I'm gonna be running a AR410 four channel receiver. The plane I'm putting it on is gonna be an A4 Skyhawk. Uh, it just has the ailerons and um, elevator and throttle three channels. So this should work all right let's get started okay first thing this open this up okay got your gyro banana hobby gyro and then um the instructions the instructions on this uh gyro they're not too uh clear so that's kind of why i'm making the video also so uh all right here we go um i made some notes right here on the instructions, it says channel two on the top one and channel one on the bottom one. But just ignore that. Don't worry about that because we don't know what kind of receiver you have where if channel two isn't the elevator, then it's going to be wrong. So you put it where your receiver um, controls that control service. Like on um, this one, the, the Spectrum on the AR410. One is throttle, two is ailerons, three is elevator, and four is um, rudder. So that's usually standard on these. And um, But if you're using a different receiver, you might have to put them different. And then it came with uh, my two um, servo leads. This is right here. Okay, so on this, the Banana Hobby Gyro, um these uh potometers right here this is for your gains um g1 which is g1 right here uh is for your uh aileron gain right here it says aileron gain and g2 is for um uh, elevator gain so that's what that's for this first switch is for your beginner mode um or master mode uh, if you're a beginner, you can put the switch down. If you're a uh, master mode. Okay, my camera got cut off. Uh, I needed more space, so I made some space. But as I was saying is, um, uh, number two is for your Alavon and um, or your Delta Mix. So if you have uh, Alavon or Delta Mix, you would move the switch um, up. Uh, I'm doing normal plane, so my switch is gonna be down okay and the way this is configured on the plane it shows it right here here's the plane so it's saying you could either go uh this way or this way um if you have a delta mix you might have to mount it this way but you're gonna have to double check if you have a delta alabama mix uh, when you install it like this to make sure the controls are moving the right uh, way but we're gonna do a regular plane so uh, I shouldn't have a problem right now mounting it this way or this way okay okay now uh, these other switches are for your um, your uh, uh, your control surface direction so let's say uh, when you check the gyro correction if um, your control surfaces are going the wrong way then you would move these switches but we can't check that yet till it's on the plane okay let's uh get started now um like i said the manual the channel two channel one don't worry about that just worry about where your uh, your servo lead is going to go to your receiver to make sure it's the right control surface so the top one on the left side is elevator the bottom one on the left side is aileron and that's your in this is going to go to your receiver and this side the out it's going to go to your um, servos this top one right here is aileron and the bottom one right here is elevator and the way the the polarity is you got signal um, positive negative 
signal positive negative so your signals wires are going to be facing um, this way so signals going on this, this side signal it doesn't really show on instructions which way to plug it in it doesn't have it on here either so i figured that out with trial and error so okay i got one right here so signal is going to go that way on these the yellow one is signal if you have a white black and uh, white red and black the white will be signal so there's that one that's the elevator okay now i got the ailerons okay there you go now this is going to go to my receiver now the top one is elevator so on spectrum the number three is the elevator and brown is down signal is up on this one so i'm on number three that's elevator now i'm gonna go to the ailerons which is number two okay there you go and number one is my throttle and number four is open i'm not using it and the thing is with these gyros is you can't turn them on and off so once you install it, it's, it's always going to be on. Uh, the way you could do is maybe you lower the gyro gain all the way down and we'll turn it off. Okay, as for the gain, what I do is I like to start about a uh, 10 o'clock position. So what I'll do is I'll lower my gain all the way down, right? And then I'm gonna put it about 10 o'clock position. That's a good starting point. I uh, use a little screw, uh, screwdriver to do this. And so I'm gonna go about right, about there. Same thing with the other one. Right about there. Okay, should be good to go now. Um, I'm gonna install it in the plane and mount it down and double check everything. But that's how it is. All right, let's, uh, let's go get the plane. Okay, I got my gyro installed. I bounded uh, my receiver. Um, now what I'm gonna do is um, I forgot I haven't um, centered my uh, controls so what you got to do is for that to center your uh, controls is you got to put your gain all the way to zero the gain and then you turn it on and then uh, you center your your controls and then you put it back to the 10 o'clock position so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna zero my gains and then I'm gonna center all my controls, get them nice and tight. And then I'm gonna mount the gyro, make sure it's all going the right direction. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna zero my gains. Now they're at zero. Now, the center of the controls. Okay, I mounted the gyro already. I put some uh, hot glue and some foam tack. I'm gonna put it right there. Yeah, there's not that much room in here, so I'm gonna have to put it right there, the battery. And I'll put some foam or something on there. Um, this is a DS950. But um, I raised the gains to check the direction. See, it's going up. That's right. And then the back. See, it's going up, so we're good. So now I'm gonna go back to lowering my gains back to um, uh, 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna bring them all the way low. Can you see that? I'm zooming in. Okay, that's right there, that's off. Now I'm gonna put it to 
10 o'clock. Right there. And right there. All right. Check it again. Yep. Okay, it's ready to flight. It's ready for flight, let's go. We got a Blue Angels right here. Nice. This is a Douglas A4 Skyhawk Blue Angels. All right, here we go. Made in flight. Good, loud. Here we go, made in flight. There it goes. Yes, it flies. <laughs> Things sound like a hair dryer. Yes. Hey, it's pretty. Locked in. Yeah, that's high rate. Gyro's working good. How are my trends? You go a little bit right. Let me relax on the throttle a little bit so I can get a little longer flight time. A4 Skyhawk from Banana Hobby. Yes. Woo. Relax on the throttle. One minute. Flying good. I set my time for two minutes. Let's land it. Okay. Let's land this bad boy. Time oh, you see that? See that crosswind? See how the gyro helped it? See that flare? Yeah! There it is, folks. Successful made it. Ah, love it. A4 Sky High. Uh, trends are not too bad. You need a little bit of left aileron. Uh, CG is good. And I just put the battery where, uh, wherever it fit. I put a rubber band also because uh, the magnet not too strong. But yeah, that's where I put the battery. Awesome. Let's get another flight in. All right. Okay, here we go, second flight with the A4. Take it off. <laughs> just like that, it just flies out of my hand. <laughs> Loud. Woohoo. It's loud, but it flies. At least you know when it's coming. See if it doesn't loop. Yeah, I did it. Not bad. Hey. 
pretty good. Timer expires, that's two minutes. All right, it's landed, let's not risk it. That was full throttle. Let's bring it in. there right at me it's gliding good yes right there <sighs> got a dirt bomb man <laughs> all right folks there you have it <sighs> look at that got a dirt bomb <laughs> in the war all right folks i'll see you on the next one